All right, Terry, thank you. 737 in the morning. That is a look at your headlines now. Here's Mike. All right, thank you very much, Sarah. Well, how did you score on the money quiz last week? A few people had a problem with the question about whether or not their net worth is on track. Stuart Welch of the Welch Group joins us with uh, Money Tuesday. And uh, we went over several things in the money quiz, but the one we're talking about is about getting your net worth on track. Now, let's just revisit those guidelines that you talked about, though. Well, I think uh, ultimately I said by the time you retire, you need to take your ending year's income and you need 20 times that in terms of what I call investment net worth. That's kind of money and investments that you can use to drive cash flow during retirement year. So just as an example, if if your ending year's income was 100000 mm -hmm. 20 times that would be $2 million. Right. And a reader was kind of upset with me because he said nobody can do that. Mm -hmm. And the uh, of course the reality is is that a lot of people are able to do that, but a whole lot more people don't do that. It's not because they couldn't do it, it's because they didn't do it. Well, let's talk about how they can do it then, because I have seen plenty of success stories, people uh, on teacher's incomes, a fireman who are able to do this. How do they do it? Well, I tell you what, it really starts with the first paycheck and it's really a mindset and, and if you wait uh, well, here's what most people do mm -hmm. uh, and this is 95 percent of the population they don't start paying attention to retirement until they're about 10 years out right. if you wait till then it is too late so retirement is something that you have to start with the first paycheck you have to pay attention the whole way and you have to plan for it the whole way mm -hmm. and it requires a certain amount of sacrifice and but if you do it from the first paycheck and you start saving 10 percent you do the math you'll end up with that kind of uh, 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 net worth. Mm -hmm. Break down some other areas too. So it's ten percent, but you you know how you how you utilize that ten percent as well. Well, I think that obviously if you take ten percent, uh, we made an assumption there that you were earning about seven percent on your money. So okay. that that implies that you've got to have a portion of your money, maybe fifty sixty percent at least, in the stock market. So the stock market over the last sixty years has earned ten point seven percent. Okay. If you look at the bond market, it's earned about four and a half, five and a half percent. So you've got to have some blend of stocks and bonds in order to get there. And I'd say a, a nice blend would be 60 percent stocks, 40 percent bonds. You also brought up another point. I know you kind of touched on it already. It really comes down to decision making. How do you make your financial decisions? What's prioritized? Well, and it is. Uh, you know, being successful and uh, accumulating enough money for retirement is a decision. You and it's a decision you want to make early. But it, by, if you've missed that first paycheck deadline, which most people have, mm -hmm. what you want to do is get with a professional, get with somebody to help figure out a game plan because now you've got a much shorter time period. Figure out a game plan to get you from wherever you are to enough money at retirement. Because Mike, I can't think of anything worse mm -hmm. than arriving at retirement and realizing that the next 20, 30 years of my life, I'm going to do it with a lot less money than I need. Uh, well, I know I'm going to be working until I'm at least 80. If I <laughs> well, make it that long. Wrong, and there's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. All right. Thank you, Stuart. Appreciate okay. it. All right, some good stuff. All right.